Hi, this is Carson from TCS. In this video, I'll be walking you through how to update a TCS UWT-100 and UWT-50 throttles with our depot tool. Using the depot is one of three methods of updating throttles. It is the easiest and fastest way of updating throttles. Our depot tool has been revamped. It is now the definitive way to update a TCS Wi-Fi device. No more logging in. Firmware files are automatically downloaded from the TCS server. It is easier than ever before to connect your throttle and it has improved reliability when updating. The TPO tool is now more user-friendly and easy to use than ever. With that out of the way, let's get to updating. Before we update any throttles, if you haven't downloaded the latest version of the TPO tool, then do that next. When you install the latest version, it will automatically uninstall previous versions. To download the Depot tool, head to our website and hover over Software. A drop-down will appear with different options. We want to click Download TCS Depot. It will bring you to this page. The link to download the Depot is here. Click on it and it will download onto your PC. It will appear in your downloads folder. From here, click on it to start the installation process. If there are older versions of the depot on your computer, you will be prompted to uninstall them. Always click yes. The older versions will now be uninstalled automatically. Go through the installation process. Just like that, the Depot tool is installed on your PC. Since that is done, let's look at how to update a throttle. Before we get started, we recommend that you observe the battery level in your throttle that you're updating. If the indicator shows less than 25% remaining, Replace the batteries as a precaution. If your device loses power while updating, you will need to start over. Before we launch the Depot tool, let's connect our throttle to the PC. We need to make sure that our PC and throttle share the same Wi-Fi connection, so they can talk to each other. If your throttle does not match the network on your computer, then we will have your throttle scanned for available networks. To do that, start your throttle normally. Press the Menu button. In the menu, scroll down to you see Network Options, or alternatively, you can press button 6. Then press button 3 to add a new network. The throttle will prompt you to scan for a Wi-Fi signal. Once you have found your computer network, select that by hitting the Enter button. Now your throttle and the computer should be connected and in sync. Your throttle needs to be in bootloader mode. Here is a reminder of how to enter into the bootloader. Start the throttle. Instead of pressing button 2, like it says on the screen, press button 7. Now that your throttle is in bootloader mode, launch the Depot tool. To launch the Depot tool, Find the Depot tool icon on your desktop and click on it. We recommend following the steps on the screen before scanning for your throttle you want to update. But if you don't, it will list all the devices found. And you can select your throttle from the list of devices it finds. Notice the IP address in the Depot tool matches the IP address in your throttle. Checking that, you know for sure that they are in sync. Next, click right. The flashlight LEDs will flash, indicating that the update is in progress. You can track the update progress on the screen. When it is done, it will say OK, and a back button will appear if you would want to update another device. Congratulations, you've successfully updated your TCS UWT-100 or UWT-50 throttle. 
If you get an error message, make sure your throttle and computer are in sync and on the same network. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to reach out to our tech support team. The contact information can be found on our website. And thank you for watching.